There can be no mistaking it. The war is on. There is a war on common sense. A war on our Judeo-Christian heritage. A war on our freedoms. Many of us were awakened to this war by the lack of honest discussion we could have regarding topics such as Islam and climate change. But that is nothing compared to this marriage debate. You know, to criticise Islam, a political religious ideology, resulted in many of us being labelled as racists and bigots. Despite the fact that anyone can criticise Catholicism and not be called such names, and despite the fact Islam is not a race but an ideology. Instead of discussing the ideology, any critic is shut down with insults, threats and even violence. You do remember the signs at the protest that read, Behead anyone who insults the prophet. When it comes to asking questions about the science of climate change, anyone, a critic, is held down as a denier, sometimes threatened, always ridiculed and silenced wherever possible. There are other topics as well, but none of them compare to what we are seeing and experiencing with the issue of marriage. Marriage is a bedrock, foundational, time-honoured institution that has crossed cultures and history. The debate was mislabeled from the get-go as being about equality, but that is nonsense. It is not about that. Marriage is not a right. It is a choice. Food, shelter, dignity are rights. Single people are not less equal or valuable than a married person, but they are different. Difference isn't discrimination or bigotry. It's simply different. A heterosexual relationship is different to a same-sex one. The functionality is different and the possible outcomes are different. Two men cannot biologically produce children. Two women cannot biologically produce children. A third party is required. These relationships are different. They are not the same. But that has nothing to do with equality or value and worth. It's becoming more apparent that day by day the diversity champions don't actually want diversity or differences. They want everyone and everything to be reduced to sameness. Equality doesn't mean the same. This debate is not about the value of homosexual relationships. Gays have been accepted in our society for years. There has been a massive effort to change over 80 laws to ensure same-sex couples are not discriminated against. If our society was as bigoted and small-minded as the vocal minority wants you to believe, if homophobia was real and as widespread as is claimed, there would have been massive outrage when the laws were changed. But there was an outrage because it is not a value judgment about gays. This debate is about marriage and freedom. It is about hijacking and redefining concepts and ideas to reduce them, to deconstruct them and to change them. You know, this is a socialist, communist, Marxist way of changing society with the ultimate goal of controlling the society. It's about challenging our freedoms and time-honoured institutions. Now, not everyone who is voting yes is a part of this or even aware of the agenda, but it exists nonetheless. Of course, it's easy to get caught up in the emotional pleas that pull on our heartstrings. Of course, it seems heartless to deny people love. But this is not about denying people love. Anyone can love each other. No one is telling gays to stop being gay. We are opposed to redefining a word, an institution that doesn't need to be changed when civil laws can and have gone a long way to resolving the issue. And there was no conflict at all when that happened. Despite the manipulative and misleading accusations of people like Bill Shorten, this debate has not been a threat to the yes voting crowd, but we've already seen the degeneration of civility toward many who are voting no. Before the postal survey even began, the ACL was car bombed and the police immediately tried to hide the fact that the motivation was religious and political. The no campaigners have been insulted, threatened with violence and job losses, and one we know of has actually been sacked, sacked for simply posting, it's okay to vote no. 
A crowd of aggressive yes voters intimidated a group of churchgoers and lied about car ramming. Sporting and business associations are campaigning and alienating members, uh, customers and supporters despite the fact they don't even get to vote. Only individuals can. And last night, Tony Abbott, a former Prime Minister, was physically assaulted for holding a different opinion to a yes voter. And what's truly alarming is the fact that many people on Facebook are defending the headbutter's actions and wishing even worse on no campaigners. The lack of civility, the lack of reasoned discussion, the attempted silencing of a view that is actually the current law of the land is alarming. There is a war on. It is a war on common sense. It is a war on our Judeo-Christian heritage. It is a war on our freedoms. It's not a war that most of us have chosen, but it is a war we must fight. And I encourage you, don't lower yourself to their level. Don't engage in violence or trading insults. Be civil. Debate the issue. Have your say and remember, it is okay to vote no.